Hi everyone, welcome back to another lecture. In this lecture, I'm going to show you how to operate with your EC2 instances with Python Boto3. Operating with EC2 instances as in, so when you create an EC2 instance, they might ask you to stop an EC2 instance. When the EC2 instance is stopped, they might ask you to start it and they might also ask you to terminate your EC2 instances. Right. So these are few of the tasks that we can do when we create EC2 instance. Right. So we are going to automate this process using Python Boto3. OK. For this, the gold mine is our Boto3 documentation. So I have opened Python Boto3 for EC2. As you can see here, I'm going to work with client method. OK. So if you do not know the basics of your Boto3, so what I've done is I've already created a playlist. So I've, uh, you know, updating all the videos related to Python Boto3 in this particular playlist, AWS automation with Python Boto3. You can check the basics first and then start building over here. OK, for this demonstration, what I've done is I've logged into my EC2 console and I've created one EC2 instance with the name test EC2 for just testing this one. OK, my first objective is to stop this EC2 instance using Python Boto3. OK, first let's get started and, uh, you know, I will open up my VS code. OK, so this is my VS code here. I have commented few things. These are the required steps that I need to do. OK, first thing import all the modules and libraries that I need. So if I want to work with Boto3, I need to import Boto3, right? I'll just type in import Boto3. OK, so that is done. Next, you will have to open up your uh, EC, your uh, AWS management console, right? So when you want to come here to your EC2 console, the first thing that you get is your management console, right? The console home. So first we need to create that one or we, can, we need to go there and then open EC2 console, right? It should be EC2. Sorry, it should not be IAM. OK, now I'll open up, uh, you know, management console for this. I'll, I'll just uh, uh, use a variable called AWS. Sorry, AWS underscore management underscore console. I'm, you can give any name. It is left to you. I am giving this name so that everyone can understand it. Okay. Now I will open up a session here. I'll just type in Boto3 dot session dot session. Okay. And I need to provide a profile name. So when you log into your management console manually using console.aws.com, you will provide username and password. Right. In the same way, we need to authenticate with AWS by using this profile. So if you do not know all these things, I have discussed all of them in that playlist that I recommended you. So go check that out first. OK, I'll just give a profile name here. OK, and the name of the profile that I'm using is uh, Terraform user. I'll also um, specify that here. I'll type in here in, in double quotes. Don't get confused why the name of the profile is Terraform user. Currently, I'm recording videos for Terraform. So the username or the profile name that I've created is Terraform user. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm OK with that. I'm continuing with the same thing. OK, so please bear with that. So if you want, you can create a separate user for Boto3 also. It is left to you. OK, now we have opened up our management console. Now our intention is to get inside EC2 instance console, EC2 console and then stop that EC2 instance that is currently running. OK, now let me open up my EC2 console. So to e uh, open EC2 console, it is really straightforward. EC2 underscore console. You can use any name. OK, so any variable name that you want. I'm using a simplified name so that everyone can understand from a management console i need to get inside ec2 console so i'm using aws underscore management console dot and you need to use you know client method right so i'll just type in client and in here i will specify the service name okay as service underscore name is equal to inside quotes ec2 right because we are dealing with ec2 console Right. So this is all you have to do to open up EC2 console. Now our intention is to 
stop that EC2 instances that is currently running. So how do you know which method to use? You can go to your, you know, Boto3 documentation. Here you can search for all the methods or uh, if you already know the aim, we are stopping it, right? So I'll just go to yes and see if we have any method with stop instances. Okay, if you see here, I have one method with the name stop instances. I'll open up that one. Okay, so basically it stops an EC, EC2 instance and you can read out the more information here. Okay, and this is how you need to provide the request, right? And you need to specify the instance IDs so that it will go ahead and stop that particular EC2 instance. If you have multiple EC2 instance, you can provide that in inside this list also. Okay, it is left to you. However you want, you can use it. So what I'll do is I'll just copy this entire thing, entire block and paste it in my code. Okay, I'll come here and I'll paste it. Instead of client, I need to use EC2 console because we are dealing with EC2 console now, right? So we are here and remove this string. Inside of string, you can provide your EC2 instance ID. Okay, I'll remove these things. I don't need this one. So I'll remove that and I'll also remove this one. Okay, let me, uh, you know, indentate it correctly. And I need to specify instance ID here in this list. So to get your instance ID, Go back to your EC2 console. If you click on, if you check that box, uh, check the box of your EC2 instance, you will get the instance ID. You can copy that or you can also copy from here. Okay. So you can paste that right here. I'll just paste this and I'll save this one. Okay. Let us confirm once again, if you see the status is running and two by two checks passed. Okay. Now I'll go and execute this function or uh, execute this script so that it can stop your EC2 instance. Okay, so to do that, what I'll do is, I'll just click on run and run without debugging in my Visual Studio code. So however you want, you can run it. You can also create a Lambda function so that it will automatically do it for you. So it is left to you, right? So let's wait. So if you see here, the, the script ran and did not return anything because we did not specify any return type here. So that is the reason why it did not return anything. Okay, but if you want to go and check if it worked or not, you can come back to your EC2 console. And if you just refresh this one, if you see here, the instant state started from start, uh, it was running before. And now if you see it is stopping, right? So that is that happened because of our Boto3 script. Okay, so this is how you stop your EC2 instances. Okay, now if you see the uh, EC2 instance is completely stopped. Okay, next thing that we want to do is let us try and start the same EC2 instance using Boto3 script. You just need to modify a slight thing here. I'll go back to my client again. I'll show you which method to use. So here, if you see, I'll go all the way down till stop and I'll show you there is one more method with the name start instances. Okay, if you see here, there was stop instances and we need just need to use start instead of stop you replace it with start okay i'll go back to my script here instead of stop i'll just type in start okay s t a r t okay now i'll save this one before executing just check your ec2 instances stop state i'll go back to my console or my visual studio code and i'll run the script once again Okay, the script is running. Okay, it did not return anything because we have not specified anything. I've come, I will come to my EC2 console. Let me refresh this page here. Now, if you see our EC2 instance state changed from stopped to pending. So the first thing that happens when you start creating an EC2 instance is it will go to pending state and then it will change to running state. Now if you see it automatically changed to running state from pending, right? So if you see here, now our EC2 instance is in running state, right? So next objective is to terminate this EC2 instances using your Python Boto3 script. Okay, so to do that, you also have one more, uh, you know, method here. If you see here, we have just like our stop instances, start instances, we also have something called as terminate underscore instances. If you give this one, you will automatically terminate the EC2 instance. Okay, let me come back to my code here. 
okay instead of your start i'll just replace that with terminate okay let me replace that here instead of start i'm just going to type terminate okay let me save this one just verification come back to console and see the status is running let us now go ahead and run this script okay first let me clear so that you can also see clearly okay now i'll just click on run without debugging let's wait what happens okay now if you see the script ran and let us go back to our console it was running before let me refresh it see it is going to shut down okay after some time it is going to terminate right because we have used terminate uh, method right so this is how you operate with ec2 instance using your python boto3 so operation on ec2 instances can be stopping an ec2 instance right starting an ec2 instance and also terminating an ec2 instance now if you see the status changed to terminated right so this is how you work with this right so i hope you liked what i'm creating for you so if you are liking the content that i am creating please consider subscribing and share it among your friends so that it can reach everyone okay so that's it for today's video thank you and i will see you in the next one